And we've got some breaking news just coming in that we want to tell you about. Poland's highest court has ruled that some European Union laws conflict with the Polish Constitution. The Constitutional Tribunal ruled that some provisions of the EU treaties and some EU court rulings go against Poland's highest law. The ruling is likely to strain an already difficult relationship between Warsaw and Brussels. The two sides are involved in a series of disputes on issues ranging from the government's influence on the judiciary and media freedom to LGBTQ rights. Let's get some reaction for you now. In Brussels is Jack Perica. He's DW's Brussels correspondent. Jack, first of all, relations between Poland and Brussels very strained already. What impact will this have on ties? Hi, Leila. Well, this is going to make things extremely difficult for both sides now. We know that 12 out of the 14 judges on the panel of Poland's Constitutional Court believe that some provisions within EU treaties are in conflict of, the, uh, of Poland's constitution. One of the cornerstones of EU membership, of being an EU member country, is that EU law has primacy over all other laws and that the European Court of Justice is the top court within the European Union. And what these judges are saying, that in some aspects, they don't believe that that is the case. Now, this case was all brought forward. Uh, the government, the president, the parliament of Poland have all said that certain provisions of, of Polish law need to be uh, raised above, other, uh, above the EU law. And this all started because the European uh, Court of Justice essentially ruled that certain aspects of judicial tampering that the government was doing in Poland's judiciary were not in line with EU law. This has been an ongoing saga, Leila, and this is a pretty major issue now for the European Union. Uh, the European, uh, we've already seen some pretty strong reaction coming out of European parliamentarians, and I'm sure we're going to see some harsh criticism of this ruling coming from the European Commission, the executive arm of the EU, and many other EU figures. Leila. Jack Parrick reporting from Brussels. Thank you very much.